IPXs, we are here at Computex 2025 in Taipei, Taiwan. We have come to talk to a company called Semica. They're making an analog neural network. I want to find out more about it, and I'm sure you want to as well. Let's go ask them about what this chip truly is and what it's really implying for the future of neural networks. Let's talk to Thomas and Pavel. I'll see you there. It's Thomas. Oh. Thanks to you for joining us. Thanks. So you're part of the NVIDIA Inception program. What did they see in you? What are you bringing to the table? So we are developing our own chip to accelerate data processing, uh, mostly for AI. Uh, in our chip, we have that we have our material specially developed for this chip. So at least we see quite good potential in area of artificial intelligence. And that's why we are a part of NVIDIA Inception program to be accelerated by them on a software, hardware and business side. So why is accelerating data processing so important? Because... Whoa, whoa, whoa hold there. Only 12% of you have subscribed. Do yourself a favor and subscribe for daily engineering content. All right. As far as know, uh, the data around us, the amount of the data is growing. So we will have the same processors uh, with more larger amount of the data. And we need to find a new tool to interpret them uh, quicker uh, to be on demo. As now we uh, could change, uh, put check the information in a website immediately. So we also need to process this data immediately. So that is fun. So what do you feel makes Semiqua so important? What do you feel makes you different from other people doing the same things in your field? So the main point is the material to be implemented in this uh, semiconductor chip. Uh, we developed this uh, material in our facilities. It's much more cheaper than current complex uh, materials used for memory stores, for example. So that's the point that will uh, reduce the price of the chip and will compete with that with other companies. Yeah, now I could talk business all day, but I want to learn about the technical side and the engineers at home do too. So can we get someone technical here, explain what's going on? Yeah, sure. Sweet as. IPX, as you want to get technical, we can go as technical as you want. We've got the chief technical officer here. This is Pavel, thank you very much for joining us, mate. Thank you, hello. I want to hear about how this compares. I've, I've read on your sheets so that this is somewhere uh, like a micro that takes inspiration from an FPGA. Why would I say that it takes inspiration from an FPGA? Yeah, yeah, there is some kind of inspiration of FPGA similarity because we've got a matrix of analog memory cells, which is storing all data and also weights for our neural network. And uh, this is similarity. Another one is that we've got massive uh, amount of inputs, analog inputs going in and analog outputs going out. And basically our input signal is, uh, is coming that way and is uh, leaving uh, the matrix uh, down there. Okay. Yeah, and the, the another block theory is ACU, another compute unit, which is responsible for uh, doing calculations on analog memory. For now, this is being split to those functional is the, to those two blocks, but in the future we'll merge them together to go in memory computing. So I want to know, and something that maybe I haven't seen before, is what is AMEN, analog memory? Why would you go for something like that and not just the classic old digital? Uh, because we want to process data, to data compressed or packed or dense data, so we need to store them in a dense format. And also we are doing processing of this dense format in analog form. We are not doing a digital to analog or analog to digital conversion. They are operating on dense format uh, all the way, all the way. For now, those two blocks are being split and uh, we are doing calculations in another block and we are, we've got analog memory to store data. But along the way, in the future, we would like to merge them together and do in-memory computing, but in analog memory computing. Okay, so let's get down to what this is truly capable of. I want to know what are my inputs, what are my outputs, and why would I want to put this into my design? Yes, so basically for analog inputs, you can code voice, you can code uh, analog stream, video stream, vibration sensors, all kinds of sensors you want to code here. So it's completely yes, sensor in that area. Yes, yes. So basically sensors are here. Uh, here of output, you can have different, many different things because you can do image classification. So then you will get like one input per, per image that you want to recognize. Or you may want to use this whole chip for pre processing uh, before going to the digital neural network to do some 
very dense operations uh, to save some power because our solution is power efficient. Uh, you may want those outputs to point you or to point the next block, the digital neural network, uh, only to some areas of interest in, yeah, for example, in image. So our chip can recognize that there is new object on a video stream, basically, can wake up digital GPU, basically. Yeah. And then GPU can work only on a part of the image, which also saves power and they can make it even faster. So I want to know about applications, some ideas about where Pavel might actually think this could come in useful for those who might be wanting to use this in the future. Where do you see this system being used on to the future? Yeah, so one is security systems, for example, security cameras to do image recognition, intrusion detection and so on. And because this is power efficient, it can operate on batteries much longer. That's one use case. Another use case where uh, weight and power efficiency is important is uh, drone industry. Yeah, you may want to, uh, your drone to have this uh, processing power and also to be uh, power conservative yeah. and be able to recognize some objects in media stream. So this is another application that is important in our eyes. Yeah. So could we compare this and maybe you can tell me what advantages it holds over something standard like a microcontroller? I mean, we talk about uh, drones, we talk about video footage, a microcontroller can typically deal with that. What is better about this? Why would I want to go with this instead of just a micro? Oh yes, so we can think of it uh, like a microcontroller also, a type of microcontroller because it's uh, programmable still. Uh, you can upload new configuration, get new functionality, uh, you can do that on the fly. But in microcontroller, usually you've got so many good logic, so many additional logic. It's so universal. Microcontroller is very universal, so you can uh, use it for whatever you want. But it may not be optimal, it may not be effective for some specialized use cases. Yeah. And this is like specialized device. A kind of specialized because it's still programmable, but you are not having uh, and more than needed. Beautiful job. Okay, let's see an example of what their analog memory cell looks like in practice. Thomas, thank you very much for joining us again, mate. Good to see you. What have we got going on here? So our demo is showing the potential of the materials developed in our facility. So we built up fully analog to read it uh, and all as well writing. A value to memory cell. So here you could set a value to be the written to the memory. Yep. So we got yeah. So we had about two and a half volts there. Yeah. Yep. And then this indication shows that a value stored in memory cell. Right. Here we have our material specially developed for this purpose. And that's all. So si simple demonstration. So this material here, that is actually what your analog memory cell is created from. Yes, exactly. Amazing. Beautiful. We'll get some cool video. But Thomas, thank you very much for your time. Good to see. God damn. That was a fantastic dap up. Yeah. IPXs. If you want to see more stuff like this, it's all over our channel. But if you want to find out more about this company, we'll have links all down in the description where you can check out the technology for yourself. Thanks for having us.